We're going to take a look at what a backdoor attack would look like and the investigation process using Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. Okay, so this is going to be a simulated attack. It's not real, but it's going to use a Word document, and that Word document has a macro in it that's going to drop an executable on my desktop. And that executable is going to gain persistence by creating a registry key that allows it to run every time Windows is booted up and also create a scheduled task. And we call this an auto start extensibility point or ASAP. And so this attack begins when the ASAPs are created. Now in the real world, you'd have more than just this. You'd have lateral movement trying to take place, privilege escalation, data exfiltration, etc. Okay, so we're in the Microsoft Defender ATP portal, and here we have my automation level. And I just want to show you that I set my automation to no response. Uh, that's because we're going to do a manual investigation as opposed to a full automated or even semi uh, automated investigation. So we're going to set that to no. And then on my computer, I have a Word document here that is actually a rogue Word document. And when you launch it, let me get past the password protecting, uh, it actually has a macro built into it. And that macro is going to run a PowerShell script, which then drops an executable on my desktop. And when that executable runs, it creates persistence. And when we open up schedule tasks, there's a scheduled task that you can see. If I zoom in there for you, it's Troj. And then it also creates an auto run. And if we pull up uh, auto runs here, it creates a run key in the registry that also kicks it off every time Windows boots up. And there you can see it right there. So it's creating persistence. So now let's go into the Defender ATP portal now that we have a threat on the machine and let's do our investigation. Okay, in the Microsoft Defender ATP console, I'm on my security operations dashboard, and I can see that uh, there's some activity taking place here. Now I can go to my alerts queue and I can view all of the alerts, but I'm gonna go to incidents because the system will automatically correlate alerts, and then if they're related, it'll create an incident. And so if we open up the incident page, here's all those related alerts. It's actually occurring across two different devices, and if we look at my graph view, I can see how these different alerts are related to each other. And I can also see how they're related to the different machines that are also a part of this as well. We'll do another video on this later on. Now I'm gonna to go to devices and I'm gonna choose my A9 device here. And we can see that the risk level is high because we found some suspicious activity on it. And I could also see that Microsoft is recommending some security actions be, be taken on this device. I could also see what apps are installed on this device, so on and so forth. But I'm gonna go to alerts, and here's all of the alerts that are happening on this device. Now, this is where we can see in chronological order what happened. So they launched Word and it ran PowerShell, which then dropped a file, which also created a scheduled task and a, uh, a reg, uh, reg key to automatically start when Windows started. So what I'm gonna do here is go through and let's take a look at one of these. So let's open up this alert for office process dropped and executed a portable execution file. And here we can see that file, winatpintrobackdoor.exe. And check it out, it's got the little bug on it indicating that this is malware. And if I click on the circle next to it, I can see that it indeed is malware and there's the family of malware it's a part of. And I can also see the virus total detection ratio. Now, if you're not familiar with virus total, this is a, a free website that allows you to upload a file and it will scan that file against 72 different virus engines. And you can see the virus engines, including Microsoft, that found that file. And you can see all the virus engines that did not find it. And that gets reflected here in the alert. So that's very useful. Now I can create an indicator and meaning an indicator of compromise that creates basically a custom rule that tells Defender ATP to block this in the, in the future if you see it. But there's not really a need to do that because it's gonna block it anyway. Now this was a simulated attack, but in the real world, um, and I'll talk more about this in a minute, it would actually automatically block it. But let's open up the file page. And here is a little bit about that file. I can see what other devices it may be on uh, in my organization. I can also see what alerts are tied to that file. And here you can see that the different machines that are in my organization that may have that file on it. 
And then Deep Analysis allows me to upload this file to Microsoft, which it will then perform a deep analysis and tell me what that file is doing. So let's give this a moment to cook and I'll show you what's happening here. Okay, so here I can see what that file is trying to communicate with and what IP addresses, uh, what else it may be doing as well, uh, how it's creating persistency, so on and so forth. A lot of really useful information here. I can see exactly what it did here. So it, it created some, uh, some new tasks and uh, here's different IP addresses, maybe command and control that it's trying to connect with. Very useful information. Uh, if we go back to the alert, and I go to schedule tasks, here I can see the actual task that was created. So just as I showed you before. So very useful when I go to investigate this. So we've done our investigation and at this point I can go through and start a live response session, which uh, I have another video for that and I'll sh I show you how to actually do that. In a live response session, we can go in, remove that malware and, and remediate it. Now this was a manual investigation. I'm gonna show you next what this would look like with an automatic investigation. Okay, so I'm gonna set my automation level to full. It's gonna remediate threats automatically. And we're gonna go ahead and launch that Word document that we launched before. So let's open them up. Type in our password. And we're gonna enable protected content and then enable macros. And we're gonna run the macro, which runs PowerShell, which then drops that file on the desktop. There's the file. Notice down here, Windows Defender caught something. It found something. Um, I don't see the command prompt coming up. So that's a really good sign. Automation is working for us. So let's go ahead and go to our action center here. And let's click on that threat. And there it found that threat. Look, it just removed it. The file is now gone. It's been remediated. And if we go to protection history, it's quarantined that threat. And we could see information about that. Um, there's the scheduled task. There's the reg key it found. There's the files it found. It's, it's all right here. Uh, so at this point, my machine is still protected. So now let's go back to Defender ATP's console and let's start our automated investigation, see how this thing behaved. So we're going to pull up our incidents. Actually, for this, I'm gonna to go to machines. And here's the machine that I'm on. And it hasn't reported any data yet, so we'll give it a few moments here since this just happened and give it a chance to catch up. Okay, so we're back and we've got some alerts here on this machine, so let's go to alerts. And here we could see those alerts just like we saw in the manual investigation, uh, but now in this automatic investigation, we can see that um, we do have some alerts and we do have some investigation states here pending approval. So let me talk through this a little bit. We're gonna go back to our investigations, or sorry, incidents rather, and we're gonna open up that incident and here we're gonna see a list of investigations. And here we can see that on this machine, we've got some investigations that are pending approval. So just to show you, let's open up a command prompt and grab the host name. This machine is ending in H6K. And so that is going to be this top one here. And this is where we found suspicious behavior and uh, here we can see a view of that behavior of what's happening, the three alerts that that behavior is related to. And then we can see what the investigation is doing. If we click on log, it's going through and it's, it's looking at all sorts of different things. Um, and then it's also gathering evidence and it's gathering other data as well. And then if I go to investigation graph, I can see what this spans across. Now, right, right now, it's still running its investigation. Even though the threat's been removed from, or sorry, it's been quarantined on my machine, and here you can see it's quarantined, the system's still trying to figure out what is that threat, and eventually it's gonna automatically 
uh, remediate and it's going to resolve. It's going to close the alerts and life will be good. So this has been a quick demonstration of a uh, document drop in a backdoor uh, simulated attack. This simulation I just performed is an exact same simulation you can perform. Just go click on the question mark within the Defender ATP console and choose simulation and tutorials and then choose document drops backdoor and you can run through this in your environment. Okay folks, hopefully you found some value in this video. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.